Say guess what, friends? I go on a walk on a Sunday. You tell them. See, I just have my snack. We're back home. Timing is still sleeping, so I'm gonna try and take a shower. Without any interruptions. He doesn't wake up. So I just got out of the shower. So I just hopped out of the shower. Diving is surprisingly still sleeping. So I'm gonna try and make myself a face mask for the first time. This is the um, mask that you guys see me buy about a week ago at Whole Foods. It's the Aztec Secrets Indian Healing Clay. Um, and it's supposed to be deep pore cleansing. I don't know what took me so long to try it, but um, I think I just forgot about it. So it basically says that you put equal parts of this powder. I thought it came already as a mask, but you actually have to, it's a um, mixing one. So you basically have to do equal parts of this powder to equal parts of, what do you call this stuff? Apple cider vinegar. I have the one with the mother in it, which is the best one to use. So, um, so I'm gonna just do two nice scoops of this. What the heck, I'll do three scoops just to make sure I have enough. I'm just gonna pour this. Ooh, this is up. Can you see that? It actually was using up. So it says mix it with a non-metal. Um, basically, you put it in a non-metal bowl and you mix it with a non-metal mixing utensil. So instead of actually mixing the two together with that, I'm just going to use a plastic straw. And then, of course, I'm using a, bla a glass um, bowl. I'm assuming by the way that it sounds that it would do something to the metal and that's actually a spoon we use so I think I'm gonna keep this spoon like with my brushes and combs um, and not use it anymore in the kitchen basically just keep it for mixing stuff like this so that we're not eating out of anything that might not be safe so I'm gonna mix this until it's smooth and we'll be back so now that I've gotten a pretty smooth consistency, I'm going to apply this to my face and let it sit for five to 10 minutes, basically until it dries. I'm 
I'm gonna throw the straw away because I won't be needing it anymore. So I'm just getting messy. Ew, it stinks. It says that you can mix it with water and substitute for the apple cider vinegar if you don't have it or if you don't like the smell. I don't necessarily need masks on my forehead. Cause I get oily there, but um, I don't have any pores. This is supposed to help with my issue with pores. So I just put a little bit in the center, like where I do get oily in case it might help that oil. But other than that, I don't really need it there. I just need it more so. More so my cheeks, my chin, my nose, but you know, might as well put it all over your whole face. So I know it's yellow in here, but I went ahead and tied my hair back so that it doesn't um, get on it, which is what I should have done before. But I'm going to let this sit for 10 minutes and see what happens. I put three scoops of the um, product in here, but I could have literally did one scoop. So next time I know the difference, but I'm going to go and rinse this in the kitchen sink because it's a little bit too long before the bathroom sink. Like it might get stuck, I guess you can say. And like I said, I'm going to use the spoon only for cosmetic stuff. I'm not going to use it for kitchen stuff anymore. But Diamond is still sleeping. Hopefully he stays asleep. Um, so I can get some editing done. I've been on a run of editing today. Which is a good thing, so... Hopefully I can get all caught up and I can go to sleep for this. So I'll be back in like 10 minutes to share the results of how it works. I don't know if you guys can tell how tight my face is, <laughs> but look at my eyes. Like it literally makes me feel like I got a face I feel like my chin is squeezed, my cheeks, I, I literally can barely talk. Like, look at my eyes and how it's like pulling down so that my eyes don't even look like my eyes. I've never had a mask that really tightens like this. So I'm gonna wipe it off with some water. Wait, let me read it and make sure. That's what you do. Apply face. Yeah, it just says remove the wrong water. But the whole time you feel it tingling. And it's different from like other masks because it like pulsates. Like literally, it's, it's intense. You feel like your cheekbones are getting higher and your chin is like everything is like squeezing there really, really, really tight. So let's see what happens. Okay, so mission accomplished. I have been looking for so many months, basically since after um, I had Diamond, for something that could snatch my pores, and I have found it. This definitely is bomb. My favorite mask to date is the Queen Helene Mint Julep 
or I interchange that one with the Lush mint julep mask. They pretty much work the same. The only difference is the Lush one is more expensive and it actually expires um, because it's made fresh without preservatives. But this right here, like I just went through with my little pore snatcher tool and I went through my pores and I couldn't even find a whole lot of areas to like extract because it did all the work for me. So if you guys want to see an updated skincare routine or I don't think I've done a skincare routine, have I? If you guys want to see a skincare routine for me, let me know um, in the comments below. But this did the trick. Very, 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 very happy with the results. I don't, I don't, hey, hey, I don't. Up in the morning, miss you bad. Sorry, I ain't call you back. Same problem my father had. All